All right. All right. Hey guys, how you doing? So this is kind of like the heart of the organization. This is our youth team. This is Mark Strong. How you guys doing? He's a host of NBA XL and also like co-host of like Toronto Raptors yep, stuff yep, yep, and yep. stuff that they do there. Um, an all-around expert on the NBA sports and entertainment in general. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> so we're, we're kind of we're getting matured. He's a friend of Mark Kilberger's as well, and Craig. We're getting matured of, of uh, FTC and Me to We. Kind of showing them what we're all about and what we do here. So. I thought I'd throw it over to you guys to kind of give us uh, what the youth team does and how many groups we work with across North America and all that fun stuff. Yeah, so welcome. Hi. Um, this is the youth team. We actually um, don't just have this room, we have the entire floor, but this room specifically work with um, youth groups all across Canada, okay. except for British Columbia, which is in our Vancouver office and Vancouver is in our Montreal office. So what we essentially all do here is we're the main point of contact for any youth that wants to get involved with Free the Children, whether that's a school group or an individual or a church group. Um, they come to us in many different forums, and we're the ones that connect them to all the things that Free the Children offers, whether that be through our Adopt a Village program. So we have all of these amazing resources that we can give them. This is our Brick by Brick program, uh, Clean Water, Alternative Income, and then Healthcare is our last pillar for Adopt a Village. Um, we don't have a poster for it right now. So when they get involved with us, they usually want to um, either fundraise for Adopt a Village or do some of our campaigns, like the Vow of Silence, where they go silent for 24 hours. Um, they can't talk, there's no texting, no Facebooking, no anything. That's um, a it's, test. Yeah, it's really hard. It's, it's the teacher's it's favorite yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, don't I don't doubt it. it. And parents too. <laughs> <laughs> but it's to stay in the solidarity with, uh, with children around the world that don't have a voice. It's beautiful. Um, yeah, so we have lots of different campaigns that uh, we go through. Um, we just did our, we just ended our local spotlight, which is all around Aboriginal education and sort of the difference between the education that um, youth get um, offers or versus the ones that live on reserves. Um, so every year we do different local uh, campaigns as well as our, our global initiatives. Um, so we work with about 3,500 groups. Um, that could mean, that's thousands and thousands of youth, because that could either be you know, 100 youth in a, in a youth in action group or one. So we work with you know, um, hundreds of thousands of youth all around um, Canada. And you'll probably go to the back and they work with all of our American and international groups. Um, and we just, we get to go to our schools, we get to you know, do speeches, we get to do lots of different things, workshops, and just get them involved with all the things that Free the Children has to offer. How does one get involved um, to be part of uh, so this operation? They come through different ways. A lot of times they hear someone speak like a Craig or a Mark or mm -hmm. a Michelle or different things like that. Um, and then we get contact cards through them and we call them. Or sometimes they just find us through websites and they sign up through our campaigns that way. And then our big one, of course, is We Day. And a lot of youth come oh, to yeah. our We Days all around, all around Canada. We've got five um, next year. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's actually, it's amazing. Six, it's maybe. Yeah. 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 Thousands amazing. and thousands yeah. of uh, youth go to these. Um, and that's um, really how they plug in through through our Canadian groups. So yourselves, you guys are youthful. You guys are yeah. a group of you know older people that are trying to help young people, We're all like which is the first thing that was really really impressive for me. The first time I heard of We Day yeah. and whatnot, and I, I talked to the guys as well, Mike and Gray, and I was like, I was like, you guys don't understand how just the vision and the and the the actual what's the word I'm looking for just just the, the spotlight of youth helping youth in yes. this massive way is so inspiring because it's one thing for some a uh, parent to tell you yep. what to do it's another thing for your peers to show you what to do yep. as you know as peers so I thought it was amazing so when I asked actually like how does one get involved I'd like to know more like how does a youth like yourself get involved in helping youth, like how can somebody become part of this little uh, office <laughs> that you guys have going on? Um, we all have different backgrounds. Um, a lot of us, well, some of us I think in this room actually were a part of Free the Children in our own high schools or okay. elementary schools and found out about it that way. Okay. Um, I myself uh, have a poli-sci degree. I went to the University of Ottawa and went abroad volunteering and working with different NGOs and I came back and got connected. Um, after I did that, but we all have diverse backgrounds, which I think is why it's so fun yeah. and so interesting to work here is because we all came through it mm -hmm. in different ways. So it, you can it's come from any background. Totally. It's funny because you can, you can trace back 
like how everyone got here. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know, one of us either saw Craig speak, and Craig like wrote on a card like, "Check us out." You know, email <laughs> ran and HR, and maybe you know, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And it's like everyone has their own story about how they came here, and you know, right. young or old. So but it was on your own initiative that you decided to go follow through with it and be part of it, yeah. which is beautiful. It's yeah. great. Yeah. And to your point earlier too about like youth helping youth. So we're like we've coined the term like the largest network of children helping children in the world. Right. And actually, if you look at like our annual report. Um, over 60% of the money that comes in actually is, it comes in through these youth groups. Right. So literally, it is children helping children through Amazing. education. So it's pretty cool. Yeah. And yeah. The work that's happening overseas has actually started started to um, manifest in, the, in their own country. So we've actually been able to have groups in Kenya and in Ecuador supporting school groups. In that country, nice. the work that we do in that country, so it's really amazing. So you've had like offset heads, headquarters doing their own thing without having to be there. They're facilitating themselves through exactly. your influence. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That's, That's really brilliant, cool. man. Yeah. It's really cool. Yeah, I'm quite moved. I'm quite a fan of. Believe me, I'm quite a follower of what you guys do. I think it's amazing. <laughs> it really is. I wish I had that when we were younger. I'm awesome. glad to see that you guys are doing it. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the most common statement in this room too, is like talking about Reday, which had a Youth in Action Summit, which is like a conference for youth um, as young as 10 and as old as like getting, you know, grade 12 and that sort of thing. And they all came together, got to meet every, like the students who are like minded. It's a, kind of like a smaller version of We Day, but they get to do workshops and interact with one another and there's like this panel. and. We were all just like, oh, if we had this when we were younger, like, it's so, they're, and it's really interesting because, like, all recognize how lucky they are to have these opportunities yeah. as well and to interact with one another. And, like, I had a student come up to me, she came there on her own and had, like, a list of emails at the end of the day. She's like, look at all the friends that I made. Yeah. It's just incredible. Cool. She's like, we're going to, like, get together and come up with ideas. It's like a global student council. <laughs> yes. You know? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. bad news, for me, student council was kind of whack. Right. <laughs> I mean, I didn't like, I didn't even like student council. I mean, people that were in it, I didn't diss them per se, but I just was like, I wouldn't join yeah, student council. Yeah. But I understand now the importance of the body of student council, and now that it's like this looks like a global student council. That's why I think I'm so interested in it because maybe I missed the boat yeah. on liking student council then, yeah. and now I like it. Well, that's the great thing about working with you is that they they are idealistic. They mm -hmm. you know they don't think like you know when you, you you're 30, 40, you start to think like. You know, you're you can't change the world in a positive way. Right. Like when you're young, right. you really believe it. You right. Know? And that's that's what's great about this place. Yeah. So yeah. keep up the energy. Yeah. Keep up the life. Keep up the <laughs> yeah. all that stuff. You guys have like, like a very good vibe in here, and I appreciate that. Yeah. Thanks, guys. We'll go back to the. To... Thank you. Thank cool. You. Take care, guys. Oprah Network. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>